I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Force. We're going to pre-select categories on the card and force hands in those pre-selected categories. This is a great skill to build, especially if you like to play in competitive events where they have category prizes. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. These are the categories we're going to force. I'm going to alternate between the dealer and non-dealer, so we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, then 14, and I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. Look at all these wins. The only way to use these is to play a quint. We could also do 2468 or 369. We do have some 2468 in here, but we don't have any twos. I think what I would do here is hold 2468 because we have to have a block with number tiles and maybe try for a quint. But I wouldn't pass two wins together. So something here has to go. 2468 or 369. 2468, 4864. Four, four. I think what I would do probably is let this 4 go with a wind. Pass those. We could maybe try 2468 or a quint. Wow, look at these wins. But we're not playing wins here. We're playing quints or 2468. So we have a flower. We could maybe play the concealed hand with that flower. What else? 2 8, we have no 2. Or the first hand, we have mixed suits. I wouldn't pass two wins together. So I think what I would do here is probably, probably let. Hmm, maybe let the four go or give up on the quint and let the dragon go. I suppose we could still do the quint with a white dragon. Let's pass these. Flower. There's the red dragon. All right, so we have a three there. Two, four, six, eight, flower. I think I would keep the eight because there are a couple of hands we could do with twos, eights, and flowers. So really what we want here are probably bams for a one suit or mixed suits. So let's let this four go. We could maybe try for the concealed hand. Let's pass these three. Sevens. Okay, now I'm back to thinking about the quint. I think I would focus on the quint. This probably would be joker bait. If you want to know more about that strategy, there are links in the video description. So let's pass 948. Okay, we have 3, 6, and a west. We have our north, which is good. I think what I would do is pit pass these three. Fives and a dragon. Now we have an option. Fives or sevens wins dragon. We have one tile to pass. A red might come back around, so I would keep it. We're 
in the last rite, and I don't remember any other dragons going around, so I don't think we'll build a, up a multiple there. So I would think about maybe letting go of the dragon so we could at least pass two, but I would keep both of these for the potential quint. So I would pass one blind. No keepers, and we have two tiles to pass. I would keep both of these to see which one we could build up. So I would pass two in the optional. No keepers. So we have a quint with either five or seven. The north we could Kong. We need help with dragons. This could be joker bait, and we have two discards. I would say that was a pretty good Charleston. It could have been better, but I would say that, that if we were to play this through, we'd be a contender. If you would have done something differently, like maybe stick with 2468, write it in the comment section below. We have a joker, north, white, one, two, three, seven, eight, and cracks, singles, one, two, seven, eight, and bam, singles, six dot, single. We need to force either two, four, six, eight, or three, six, nine. We do have three, six, but no nine. We have two, eight, six, but no four. I think we have more to work with in the two, four, six, eight category, so I think that's what I would do. Two, four, six, eight, and maybe keep the three in case we get nines. We could maybe switch to three, six, nine, which is also up there. So here I would pass one, seven north. I try not to pass white dragons, so I would, I would keep that. We got a two, two, four, six, eight. There's our first multiple and eight bam. So I would let go of three, six, nine. So that can go. Here's another multiple, a seven, but we're forcing two, four, six, eight and three, six, nine. If we weren't forcing a hand, I would probably switch to six, seven, eight of some kind, but we still have potential here. So I would break that up. Two, eight. Those are keepers. Two, eight. And we do have tiles we can pass, including the white dragon. So I would look here and see if we could let something go. We have all the eights, two, four, six, eight, two, eight. We might even be able to play the pair hand, but that wouldn't be the two, four, six, eight category. We need to focus on the two, four, six, eight category. Maybe we could do two, eight and two suits or the concealed hand. We'd have to let this go. And of course we'll need flowers. So I think what we could maybe do to make that better is pass either the two or the eight. I think I would do the two because seven, eight, and one suit is risky. And there is a hand where you do two, four, six in one suit and then like number Kongs in the other two suits. So we would need a four in here. And the, the shape would be two, let's see here, it would be two dot pair, four, six singles, pair eight, and then Kong Kong. So we wouldn't need that. Let's, let's pass these right here. Six, here's three, nine. There was three, six, nine in here. But here we have two six, two eight eight, 
two here. I think we should let those go right there. Okay, we have a red dragon. There is a two, four, six, eight mixed suit dragon hand. It's the fifth one down on the right. Two, four, six, eight dragon. We would have to pass a white dragon. I think I would let it go and keep the white. We got the white. Okay, well, let's see if we can figure out how to use that. Here we have one five. Maybe we could play the dragon hand and use this for the missing four. We need pair, let's see, for the dragon hand, pair two, pung four, pair six, pung eight, kong white. So I would probably, let's see, I'd focus here and we're on last right. I think what I would do because of these multiples here, I would let the eight bam go so we're not stuck with a pair in case we get a really good pass right here. No, but we have tiles we can pass. Let's see, maybe we could do, no, I think uh, 157, that's, that's a bit risky. Maybe those three, 158. I don't think there's anything in here. No, we got the eight back. Seven, eight, five discards. But here we do have a hand. I think I would keep the eight just to see what happens and let those go first. So here we have a two, four, six, eight hand of some kind, probably the dragon hand. If you would have done something differently, write it in the comment section below with pull two. We have a couple of jokers, west and south, pair west. One, four, eight, nine in cracks with a pair of ones. Five, seven, eight, five dot singles here. So we need to force three, six, nine. We have a nine. That's it. That's where we're going to start. Nine. So what I would do here is break up the multiples and then pass either a bam or a dot. Probably the bam maybe a seven. All right, here we go. We need three, six, nine. We're going to pass those. No, no three, six, nine. We have a five, a five, and a two. So I would pass a five, maybe one. Let's see, five, eight. How about that? Let's do five, eight, one. Okay, we have a dragon. Maybe we could use that. Oh, I forgot the winds. We need to let those go. Let's throw north. Here's an eight. Let's break those up. We'll pass these three. There's a nine. Keep every tile you can use in that category. Let's do west. Maybe we could do a two and a five, one of the fives right here. There's threes, a pair. Sometimes you get a pair in the Charleston. It's crazy when it happens. Okay, one, five, eight. One, five, eight. That's a pretty good pass right there too. Let's see, let's do these. Let's pass these. Three, six, nine. Look at that. Three, six, nine. Okay. Let's do one, 
8 south, 9 flower, 2 tiles. We have 369 in BAMs, 6 dot, 39 in cracks. There's a dragon flower. The dragon hand in 369 would use a flower. I'm kind of wondering if we should shoot for the concealed hand. We'd have to let a three go right here, but maybe what we could do is let the six go, uh, maybe past three or those two and focus on these. You know what we could do though? Three, six, nine in mixed suits. We could do three crack, six crack, nine crack dragon. You know what I would do here? I think I'd pass the white dragon. Oh, we had two. No keepers. This was a great Charleston though. Three, six, nine. We started with one tile. Look at that. That's something else. This game is very flexible. If you play at the category level and gather for that category, just hoard tiles, something will show up. 369. American Mahjong is very flexible and forgiving. By doing this exercise, you can see that you can make just about anything work if you focus on the right tiles at the right time. If you have a set of tiles at home, give the exercise a try. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers. <laughs>